بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو اے کیو بائی ٹی سولیوشنز دس از علی رضا اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اے نیو پروجیکٹ بیسڈ آن کور پی ایچ پی اینڈ مائی ایس کیو ایل دیٹ از انوینٹری مینجمنٹ پورٹل اوکے اپ ٹل ناؤ وی ہیو سین انوینٹری مینجمنٹ سسٹم ان ڈیسک ٹاپ اپلیکیشنز ان سی شاپ ڈاٹ نیٹ اینڈ وی ہیو آلسو کریٹیڈ انوینٹری مینجمنٹ ان اے ایس پی ایم وی سی آلسو بٹ دیٹ واز ناٹ کمپلیٹ Uh, due to some circumstances so uh, we will see that later on but uh, in today's lecture in, in this series I am going to start a whole new seri- uh, whole new project that is inventory management portal based on core PHP and MySQL so uh, this is the first lecture and in this lecture I will let you know that um, how to start and how to plan a software or a web application based on uh, PHP so uh, let's start and have a look Uh, what are the prerequisites or you can say what things that you require in order to create uh, a management portal uh, on PHP. So these are the software required. Uh, you can install XAMPP. It's a package that contains uh, the Apache server and the MySQL and the PHP. Here we have VAMP also and we have MAMP if you are using Mac operating system. But for Windows, we can use XAMPP or WAMP. Okay, so I'm going to use XAMPP uh, package uh, for PHP and Apache server and MySQL. Okay, because these things are required. And the editor that I'm going to use will be uh, Dreamweaver CS6. All right. And if you wish to use Dreamweaver CC, that is the latest version, you can also use that. And you can use the Sublime Text Editor, Visual Code, or Notepad also. Okay, so uh, it's up to you. So. Uh, this is all about the prerequisites or you can say the software that we need for the uh, for this project okay so uh, let's jump into the uh, actual task that we have to perform today so let's go all right guys you can see here this is my dreamweaver cs6 version and i have also started my xamp control panel and you can see the version of my uh, xamp software is 3.2.2 Okay, and my P- Apache server is started, my MySQL is also started, okay. So, now what you have to do, you have to minimize this and let's first set up our website directory structure and then we'll continue. So, first of all, what do we have to do? We have to create a new site by clicking on the new site, you can see here. And then give the name here, inventory portal. Uh, that would be fine inventory portal and now where your website should be located because when we are working with PHP listen carefully guys you have to uh, make your directory uh, in the C drive where the your XAMPP is installed okay or WAMP is installed in case of XAMPP you come inside the XAMPP folder inside C drive or wherever you have installed your uh, XAMPP uh, software and then go to the HT docs and then create a new folder here with the name inventory portal that's it and then click enter and then come inside and here you can create further folders like images the images that we are going to use inside this portal and let's create another folder that will be styles the css the bootstrap that we will be using and the scripts or the jQueries that we are going to use should be stored inside this and this is my folder so uh, i'm going to select my inventory folder here okay let's go back and select it again inventory portal and then select so you can see what i have done here it's uh, i have selected simple uh, inventory portal but if you are if you have vamp installed so what you can do you can simply go to the let me show you uh, from this part you have to go from uh, this c drive and then you have to uh, go inside the vamp folder similarly to xamp we have another folder if you have vamp installed then we have the vamp folder and inside that vamp folder you have to specify the you have to go or select the www folder okay so this is the little bit difference in xamp and vamp but both are same uh, by the way okay so i have selected this now click save you can see my directory has been successfully created this is the first step that you have to do and then what you have to do you have to configure your dreamweaver to uh, run your uh, php scripts directly uh, without going and typing on the url uh, browser url okay uh, so what we can do we can again go and manage on the site and then um, click on the inventory port double click on it and you can see here it is showing me servers and uh, there's no, no, no server is added right now here so click on the add new server and give the server name let's say my 
server, any name you can specify. Then I'm going to connect my uh, local server so with the help of the local network. And where is my server folder? So this is my server folder. Select that. Now, how I open my uh, uh, local host on the browser? Let me show you that. This is my Chrome browser, and here you can specify local host. Okay, and press enter. You can see ZAMP started successfully without any port number. If you have your ZAMP with any port like 81, 82, any port number that you have configured, I hope you know all that. Uh, but if you don't know that how to uh, start the Apache server and if it is if giving you errors then what you have to do you have to click on the config file and then uh, httpd.config file okay so this is the uh, heart of the Apache server you can say what you have to do you have to find all these ports with the starting number that is 80 okay so control F and find it 80 and if it is not working if your ZAMP is not working or not starting okay so what you have to do you have to come here in this file and uh, change the port number from 80 to 81 wherever it is so you can see it it it's, it it is uh, twice in the document so you have to change 80 to 81 and then what you have to do you have to save this file and then start the apache server hopefully it will start from 81 if it is not starting with 81 then change it to 82 or 83 and vice versa it's up to you okay any port any free port that you can assign and if you're assigning some port other than 80 then you have to specify that port something like that like this okay if you have 81 or 82 or 83 and so on so by default 80 is the port number and we don't have to specify 80 it is by default so when you write here localhost simply the apache uh, uh, you can say the home page is uh, there for the xamp so this is what uh, the confirmation of my xamp server that is it is working perfectly now uh, you saw uh, that i have used localhost in order to run my uh, server and within my local host my folder name is inventory portal so I'm copying it okay that's my default folder name and that's it so this is the web URL that every time when I run my page this URL will be automatically appended or you can say prefixed with the before the name of my page so save it when you save it you can see here uh, one thing that you have to check is that the testing uh, you need to test your ASP uh, sorry PHP website so you have to click on the testing checkbox then click save I hope you have understood so it's a warning message that uh, the cache will be recreated no problem just read it and click OK that's all and then done so I have successfully created a PHP website directory uh, within my htdocs folder using XAMPP okay now let's create a first page to test whether it is working or not so uh, click new and PHP and then HTML5 and then create okay let's save this page as uh, index dot you don't need to specify uh, dot php because you have created a php page so it automatically give dreamweaver automatically uh, suffix the dot php extension and you can see every time when you now start or save any page uh, of the uh, of the project automatically the default directory will open because you have set up your default directory here inside dreamweaver so uh, let's click on the save button you can see it, it gives me .php extension. Now I wanted to check via Dreamweaver. So let's click on the Chrome browser and you can see the page is blank right now. I hope it is clear to everyone. Do, do not provide spaces. Right now I have given spaces. That's why it's giving me this uh, thing. But I recommend you to do not use spaces when you are specifying the names of the folders and all that. I hope it is clear. So uh, that's all uh, for today. Uh, in today's lecture I have just uh, demonstrated what we are going to do and how the directory structure is set up uh, with the in the in windows environment so hopefully you have understood and uh, learned how to create the directory structure uh, for your project so that's all for today if you do not understand anything and if you have any queries please do write me in the comment uh, thank you so much take care allah Hafiz.